Coming this Friday, we are going to have a new update coming to Arcane Odyssey featuring Deckhand reworks, Dark Sea biomes, and much more. In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about this update. But real quick, please subscribe. My goal is to hit 2k by the end of the year, and it's totally optional, but I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. First of all, let's start with the Dark Sea changes. With the new update, we will have seven new biomes in the Dark Sea, those biomes being Overhang, Mushroom Forest, Ruins, Metal Forest, Poison Forest, Coral Field, and a Crystal Field. Vtex also stated in the version 1.14.9 patch notes that he added more detail to the Volcanic Islands, which I can't wait to see. We are also getting 33 new types of structures to spawn on the Dark Sea Islands, which is extremely exciting. This is my favorite change, as stated in the version 1.14.10 change log, we can finally hit Atlanteans through walls again. Yes, they finally reverted that. I can't even count how many times I died due to an Atlantean getting stuck in my ship's hull and killing me with AoE. We've talked about all that, let's talk about some item changes. Alongside the Dark Sea, we are gaining changes such as the Calvis's Cape model getting a remodel made by Astroworks, a new model from the Grand Navy Lieutenant Pauldrons, the Assassin Overseer Pauldrons, Edward Kenton's Pauldrons. We're getting a rework of the Haunted Skull Chain, which was remodeled and renamed to the Cursed Skull Necklace, and you guessed it, it was also made by Astroworks. I think that a lot of players are extremely excited for is the new Sunken set coming to Arcane Odyssey. It's called the Sunken Warrior set and was actually in Arcane Adventures. Instead of attack size, it'll give attack speed, so it's pretty much just going to be a better Cernic set. Coming with this set is a new Sunken weapon, which is sadly warrior exclusive, but it's likely for the best. There was a clip leaked of one of the weapon moves, but I can't use it because it was leaked by a random tester. I asked the person who originally clipped it to put it in tester chat if I could use it and they said no, I couldn't due to it being leaked by a tester and they still don't know which one leaked it. Glad I double checked. Originally I was just going to throw it in. Thank god I double checked, it gave me flashbacks to the alt of exploiter. Anyways, the new weapon is called a Sunken Staff, which instead of piercing Gale it has a pulsar type move that the balance team will probably shit themselves when they see it come out. Here's a live illustration of me recreating that video. Alright, so it was like, it, there's Calvis right here. This was Calvis, and this was the dude who casted it. Now, in the video, they were using Conjurer. It's not going to be available for Conjurer, but then it just went wow, 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 like absolutely humongous, but it was dense. And then Calvis just said, no, and he died. I know, I'm a talented artist. We're also getting some new modifiers, similar to Atlantean, just not applicable. The modifiers being Frozen, which is found on dug up items from the snow, Crystalline items can be dug up from the regular ground, Drowned items can be found in any underwater chest, and there is also Superheated, Blasted, Archaic, and Sandy. The last item change I know of is now all shipwrights sell the level 30 ship parts like wooden trim, rugged trim, wooden framing, wool sailcloth, and the flax sailcloth. With all the item changes talked about, let's talk about what everyone including Vtex is most excited for. Deckhands. Deckheads have been locked behind a renown wall for a while, but starting this update, they won't. Alongside deckhands finally not requiring renown, there are a ton of new features being added to them. When deckhands join your crew, they start as low level rookies, but get leveled up if you sink NPC ships. The higher they level, the more ship stats they gain, and eventually improve their deckhand tier, which will make the stats even better. You can give gifts to your deckhands to increase their loyalty. Loyalty unlocks some other features that can only be increased by gifting deckhands items they might like. For example, a knight appearing deckhand liking stuff like iron armor. When your deckhand's loyalty reaches medium, you can give them an artifact item. Artifacts are a new type of item that can be found underwater in chests that boost things about your ship when given to a deckhand. For example, being like increasing your ship's whirlpool escape chance. When your deckhand's loyalty is great, you can ask them to change their appearance style or color by talking to them. From what I've seen, their styles involve fighter, bounty hunter, mage, archer, knight, pirate, samurai, sailor, wealthy, occult, engineer, casual, barbarian, mafiso, and cowboy. 
Something that's coming with the deckhands is called deckhand professions. When upgraded to tier 2, your deckhand will ask what skill set they should try to focus on to help out more with the ship. Examples being like cannoneer, improving the ship's power in naval combat, navigator, which helps with the ship's navigations, enchanter, which can give the ship and crew temporary boost, Shipbuilders, which will help keep the ship afloat, probably like repairing it. A chef, which can cook for the crew. And a merchant, which will probably sell things at random, possibly another way to get arc spheres. You can activate your deckhand's abilities while in command of your ship and can also upgrade their professions to improve the ability more. When your deckhand's loyalty reaches tier 4, they can hold a second artifact and at max loyalty you can give them an item from your inventory that they will always wear. If you're confused on how to upgrade deckhands, this is from what I've seen probably how it's going to work. Depending on what tier you're upgrading them to, it'll require either galleons or two rare items, like for an example on the lower end, 15 coal and 25 black shards. Here's a quick list of all the currently known artifacts. Worn Compass, which gives 10% chance to escape whirlpools. Frayed Lead Line, which is a 7.5 damage resistance to weather. Small Gunpowder Barrel, which ups the chances of ammunition not being consumed while firing cannons or mortars by 10%. Lucky Coin, which gives a 7.5 chance for an extra sealed chest from sinking ships. And a Golden Bolt, which is a 10% damage resistance to bumping or crashing. I left one out because I haven't mentioned what it's actually added for, so let's talk about it now. Your crew can now fish for you. Now this doesn't mean they can do stuff like catch items, no, your crew cannot catch you with sunken. They'll randomly catch fish on the timer, and I'm pretty sure it's every like 10 minutes. Something else that's worth noting is you can finally fish on a moving boat, the bobber will just be dragged along, and Vtex removed the knockback you take from catching a fish. The item I left out was the rusty fish hook, which increases your crew's fishing speed by 5%. Here's some fun changes that I thought were pretty cool. Ships now tilt when steering left and right. Sails have an animation for going up and down instead of happening instantly. You'll get slightly lower while walking in sand or snow as if you're sinking a slight bit. There's now a tip button to the treasure chart UI. The delivery for Enazor quest at Frostmill now gives you a wooden shovel. Treasure charts can now be obtained at level 20 instead of 40. Oh, and Vtex made it so you can find sunken in diving spot chests, with to 1 in 3000, just sadly it does not have a pity system. Treasure charts found before level 80 will only send you to islands you've already been to. That's about it for this video. With this all said, what do you guys think of this update coming to Arcane Odyssey? Comment your opinions down below. I might shoot you a reply. I'll see you in my next video. Peace mentioned what it's actually added for so let's talk about it now your fish can now f fish for fish well, your fish can now fish for you what your fish can now how did i do that twice your crew can now fish for you